Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back. Uh, in this video, uh, we are going to discuss a little bit about the datum planes uh, because often you will need to define uh, datum planes for your different uh, sketches. So let us begin. Uh, datum planes. What are datum planes? Are basically the the planes uh, that you will be using for uh, sketchings and uh, the default planes uh, are the three planes uh, which is associated by default to all the uh, part files and they are the right plane, top plane and front planes and you can use them for uh, your sketches. Uh, in addition to that if you need uh, to make a sketch uh, somewhere else uh, <coughs> so for that you have to define your own uh, sketching plan for that. For example, if you want to make uh, any profile on, let us say, this uh, slanted or tapered surface. So right now we do not have any uh, default planes that is passing through that particular surface. You know, we have these uh, three planes, the front plane, the right plane, this one, and the top plane. You know, so uh, neither of the plane can be used uh, to make a sketch on this particular surface. So definitely uh, then uh, you will need to define your own plane on that particular surface first and then you will be able to uh, draw sketches. You know, so the uh, datum plane option is available in the sketcher. You know, so the, uh, beneath the sketch tab uh, the next one is the datum plane uh, icon. You know, so simply you can click on that uh, <coughs> icon and it will then guide you through the rest of the procedure. Uh, here you have to define your references. Where you have to define your plan. You know, so again it is a simple command and to define a datum plane uh, you can use uh, different methodologies. Uh, in general, you can say there are three methods uh, by which you can define a uh, datum plane. Uh, the first method is the selection of any planar surface or the existing uh, planes. Like for example, if I uh, click on the plane tab, it will ask you to always look to the dashboard area you know so select up to three references you know so you can select up to three references so sometimes you will need to uh, select only one reference in some of uh, cases uh, you will need to define two references to define a plane completely in some uh, cases you will need uh, three references to completely constrain the uh, rotation and the location of the uh, new uh, sketching plane. So, uh, first method is that uh, if you select any surface or an existing plane like this one, for example, if I select this plane as my reference, so what it will do is that it will simply uh, make another plane uh, that will be parallel to this uh, particular plane that you have selected you know, so you can pick any any plane you know so, so the new plane will be parallel to this one you know, and then later on you can set that uh, offset distance to either side or side pair side pair or distance define kar lenge, and that's it so you will get the plane at the desired location you know, so if i select let us say the top plane you know and then i give some offset distance you know so this will be the location of your uh, new plane Similarly, you can select any surface. For example, if I select this surface, so again, it is surface is a plane. It can be treated as a plane. So uh, it will make a plane that will be parallel to this particular surface. You know, or this offset distance where you can know, so define it So if I, let us say, make it 100 units. So that was that direction. You can this direction. So you can change that direction from here also so if I write minus 100 so it will be uh, to the opposite side and again uh, this arrow uh, head gives you the positive view direction you know so other may I go click the side you know, so let me 
bring that new plane. So now this will be the direction of my positive view. You know, so any sketch that you will be creating on this plane, so the positive view direction will be from the front side, and you can change that direction at any time. So one option is that when you so so I can select even this planar surface. For example, if I again go to the plan tab and I pick this circular uh, object uh, so it's got top face agar aap dekhe, so it is a plane surface so I can pick that so it will simply uh, make a plane by default ye zero units pe hoga. Yeah. so it will be directly defined uh, on that particular surface or it will be parallel to that and then later on you can change that uh, offset distance whatever distance you want to enter yeah. okay. uh, if I click on the tab again and I pick this surface you know, so you will get that angular plane which will be parallel to this one you know, and then you can give any offset distance so that is a simple option uh, if you uh, want to use uh, any plane any existing plane that plane may be uh, default plans or maybe your own plans. For example, if I see plan ke parallel mein koi dusra plan define karna chahta hon, to I can select this plan for my reference as well. You will get another plan. You know, so you can pick a plane, you can pick any planar surface as your reference. So if you uh, want to use uh, a surface or a plane, so that is the only reference that you will be needing. Uh, the, uh, next thing that you will give is the offset distance another method is using uh, a line or an edge so for that you will need to define then uh, two references so to completely define the uh, plane so let me undo and then if I go back to the uh, datum plane tab and instead of any surface of or plane if I uh, pick uh, any edge uh, for example uh, this one this edge so it will generate a plane that will be passing through that particular edge yeah for example if I is edge ko select karta hon, you know, so now I have a plane which is passing through that edge you know, so you can pick any edge for plane selection as well uh, in this case you will need to define another reference because uh, the the plane is only passing through that edge mm. rotation of that plane or orientation of that plane has not yet been uh, fixed you know? so that will be fixed through uh, another uh, reference so again for multiple selection uh, you can use the control key on the keyboard so if I hold the control key and I am still in the references tab so if I suppose pick this edge so now I have two references for my plane so that second edge is now restricting the rotation of that newly generated plane so it cannot be rotated so if you want to select lines or edges so then you will need to define two planes two references so for example, if I select this edge and then holding the control key, if I select this edge, so now I have a plane which is passing through these two edges. And if you look at this option, so in, from both, on both the edges, uh, uh, reference is through it. You know, so aapka jo, basically the plane hai that is passing through these two edges you know. so again if I similarly uh, I can pick this uh, axis uh, as mine so if I remove that you know, and instead of the this particular edge if I select this axis you know, so I will have a plane which will be passing through that axis and in case of an edge uh, and a surface 
तो फॉर एग्ज़ाम्पल अगर मैंने एक लाइन सेलेक्ट की एक एच सेलेक्ट किया और दूसरा मैंने सरफेस सेलेक्ट किया सपोज द सरफेस है ना सो नाउ अगेन आई विल नीड टू फिक्स द रोटेशन एंगल क्योंकि एजेस और लाइन जो है वो ये एंगल रिस्ट्रिक्ट कर देता है बट इट विल बी पासिंग थ्रू दैट लाइन इन दिस केस एंड द नेक्स्ट रेफरेंस इज द द सरफेस और द प्लेन सो ये इस प्लेन से ऑफसेट डिस्टेंस जो है वो फिर आपने डिफाइन करना होगा अदरवाइज यू कैन गो बैक टू दैट सरफेस जो आपने सेलेक्ट किया है इस पर जब आप क्लिक करेंगे सो यू विल फाइंड सम मोर ऑप्शन विद इन दैट टाइप ठीक है ना सो राइट नाउ इट इज सेट टू ऑफ सेट सो इफ आई टेक द पैरल ऑप्शन सो नाउ आई हैव कम्प्लीटली डिफाइंड द orientation of this new plane so i have a plane which is passing through that particular axis and it is parallel to this surface you know so now it cannot be uh, oriented in some any other direction similarly if i again click on that tab or parallel ki bajaye agar main normal select kar dun you know so again i have restricted the rotation of that plane uh, by giving a proper reference you know so now uh, you have a plane which is passing through that axis and it is normal to this particular surface you know so this is how you will define the uh, working planes isko agar main okay kar do and suppose i go back to the uh, reference tabs uh, if i pick uh, let us say uh, this edge is my reference you know and if i uh, click let us say this surface or this surface as my another uh, reference uh, maybe like for example this one you know so again uh, by default it will be set to the offset option you know so then you have to define that offset angle ke kitne angle pe aapne isko uh, reference karna hai you know so through that angle Uh, you will then lock the rotation jo bhi aapka angle hoga you know for example agar main 45 degree karta hu so you will have an uh, a plane uh, which will be passing through that particular edge and it will make an angle of uh, 45 degree with this particular surface jo aapka uh, second reference hai instead of offset if you want to use the parallel option so you will get the same thing you, know, you you will have a Uh, plane which is passing through that edge and it is parallel to that particular uh, plane theek hai na ya is ko normal agar aap karte hain so it will become normal to that so this is how you can use two references to completely define a plane the third option is selection of the uh, points so for example if you need to uh, use uh, or define points for the plane placement so then you will be selecting three points so if i again go back to the plane tab okay by default ye selected tha so it has picked you know apna kya rakhna hoga uh, suppose uh, ye surface jo hai wo maine select ki hui hai and then i go back to the uh <coughs> plan tab mode you know so it will automatically take this as the first reference so bazakat ye aapka hoga ke any entity might be selected and when you will hit the uh, plan tab so automatically that particular selection will for example if i pick uh, this cylindrical object uh, i go back to the tab mode so automatically it has picked Uh, that particular uh, selection in the listing you know so if you want to define a plane through points so in that case you then have to pick three points so for example agar main ye point select kar do you know so this is my first reference uh, and the plane is passing through that particular point so you, know? so you need to define uh, or to fix the uh, rotation of that uh, plane Uh, with reference to this particular point uh, suppose i pick let let me turn off 
is plain default plain. Okay. So if I for multiple selection you will uh, hold the control key and suppose I hit this point. Okay. So now I have a plane which is passing through these two points. Okay. This point and this point. But still I have to fix that rotation because these two points now uh, are acting like an edge. You know, so if uh, a plane is passing through an edge, so it can be rotated around that particular edge. You know, so uh, these are uh, basically the pivot points of rotation. You know. So then you need to define a third uh, reference also. You know, so third reference may be third point up select karenge. So that will be the third reference. So suppose if I uh, pick this point as my third reference. Yeah. So now I have restricted the uh, rotation of that plane as well. You know? So you have three. Is uh, for simply that up particular length and then so turn on the visibility. You know, so you will have that particular plane located or passing through these three points which you had selected. You know? So if you want to define a datum plane, so you can adopt these three uh, methodologies. If you are going for the surface selection or plane selection, so then you only need to define one reference for that. So you, know, so you will pick that plane or surface and then the offset distance. Uh, if you are using uh, edges, so you will need to define two references. If, if there are two edges or two lines, then simply the plane will pass through these two edges and it will be completely restricted. If you are using, um, suppose an edge, edge means a line or and a surface, so line or surface may fear ya apne offset karna hoga ya parallel ka option apne use karna hoga or uh, angle ka option offset angle jo is aap karte hain and similarly uh, third option aapka ye hai ke aap points jo hai wo use kar sakte hain so uh, in case of points then you will need three references you know three different points so that's it that was a little bit about the uh, datum plane. So in the next uh, video, uh, we will be uh, going to use uh, the datum plane option. Yeah. That's it.